Hello, hope everyone is doing great. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about what should you be doing if your portfolio is not doing so great in the last two or three days. So let's look at what has happened around the world. Hmm. A lot of things have happened. There is war. There are banks in China, uh, in Japan, sorry, that are charging a little bit of interest. There are governments that are getting toppled. A lot of things are happening and if you are very worried about the future let's take a look back maybe 20 years back what was happening in 2004 well Iraq was getting invaded there was still tension in the Middle East we were not sure about what's going to happen to India and there were global anxieties take 10 years back what was happening wars across the world, confusion, chaos. So what is happening today is no different what was happening 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. There is always reason to be concerned and that's natural. But let's look at this way. In all the countries where there is chaos and confusion, it's not that those countries are having chaos and confusion for the first time. They have been built on the basis of chaos and confusion. Wars have always happened over there. Let's take India with a different way, right? Has corruption ever ended in India? No. We always had corruption, we will have corruption. So there are certain things that in certain countries that will continue to be there and they will continue to hog the limelight for some time. And some of these issues may cause concerns in the mind of investors. But if you look at global long term, and when we say global long term, let's look at you know, World War II, right from World War II till now. We have seen a lot of wars, a lot of escalations, quite a few de-escalations around the world and yet human beings have progressed. So investing in the capital market is investing in companies that are looking to advance human civilization. I am very sure you will go and say that you know there are some companies in the small cap index or micro, mini micro cap index which are uh, you know, not necessarily there to help human beings progress but help the promoters get money, there are exceptions everywhere. But it's very simple, we are looking at global chaos, to me it's a good time to enter into the market, continue buying the market and not stop your investments. Few things, if you are a first timer who has started maybe 6 months back when market was all happy happy, everything was looking so great, you will be very very anxious. Your portfolio may not be looking great. So what should you do right now? Should you exit or should you put more because your friend who during COVID time has taken personal loan and he put uh, investments and he got 3x return and he brags about that in the office. Well, if you are a beginner, you have started investments in the last one year, just continue your investments. Assuming that your investments have been advised by a SEBI registered investment advisor and not any random folk on the internet. It makes a lot of difference. So if you have started, continue. If you have been investing and if you are seeing profits getting eroded, especially in the last two to four years you have started investing and you are seeing some of your profits getting eroded, why? Because you would have created a pretty good amount of corpus and, it's, and it would be perhaps one of the first times that you are seeing your corpus getting um, eroded by a large amount of money in a single day. So it must be making you a little nervous. Well, stay on. Or just hang on over there. Again, I'm going back to the goal-based planning. I go back to investment planning. If it has been, if your investments have been planned in such a way that no matter what happens, if you're getting around 10 to 12 percent returns from equity, then just stay, stay invested. Yes, if it is a time for you to take some amount of money and go for a vacation, and if that vacation is a part of your planning of the investments, well, then go ahead and withdraw some money, take a vacation, go to Bali, go to Lakshadweep, go parasailing somewhere. Although this is not the best time to do any of those activities in the monsoon. But yeah, you can travel, you can spend some money. But don't withdraw all the amount of money. That's going to be chaotic. In fact, if you have some surplus amount, better start investing. More amounts. Um, for those who have already been invested in the market for 5-10 years, you know the trick. Just stay invested. Just stay invested until your goal is reached. If your goals are reached, if you have made your money, then park it in safer assets and instruments. So. The conclusion is very simple. Markets will go up and down. There will be companies, uh, there will be countries who
who will raise or reduce their interest rates. There will be wars. There will be um, economic crisis in some countries. But you have to understand that you have to just keep investing. Just keep investing and stay in this journey. A few road bumps here and there should not deter you in your journey of investments. If you are looking for any professional and qualified advice, please feel free to contact me. I am a fee-only financial advisor. I charge fees and I will review your portfolio. I will evaluate your investments and ensure that your goals, your investments and your needs and wants, everything are all in sync. Thank you for listening to my video. Thank you for hearing me out. Please do subscribe my video channel. Thank you.